Hello everyone, today we're doing another construction base on Hassan from Nason's Defiance to Gurney's Dam and this is a good uh, roadblock base. So without a further ado, let's get right to it. And I will be talking at uh, one or two points in the video, but eh, oh well. Okay, for the sky shield, make sure you place it above these flowers, alright? This part's a little tricky. So this part's also optional put a blast wall right here to block that passageway and if someone does try to come over and C4 ferry their way over uh, they're going to hit the shield not any infantry so happening around here Thank you. 
Oh. Thank you. And that will basically wrap it up. So let's start the tour, shall we? We have two vehicle gates that completely block off the roadway for enemy armor. We have a paint spire over here, which will make any enemy infantry push a bit painful. The paint spire is fully covered by the shield. We got a anti-armor turret up there, which will cover that front area a bit. The modules are down here for easy access. Uh, we can't use the tall variant because then the dome, the sky shield will get in the way. We have a vehicle pad here for ally forces to pull from. They'll go into Nason's Defiance and then turn around to come out here where this is all the actions happening. We have our sky shield that covers the base fairly well. Pretty difficult for our enemy armor to get in. I will say enemy infantry would generally try to park a bus on the other side and try to Cordium bomb the anti-infantry turret and then work their way in from the base from that gap. Though that's an easy thing to deal with if that's the only point of entry. Uh, we also have the sky turret. You could probably swap these two out actually now I think about it. So put the anti-air over there and the uh, anti-infantry here and it will just take care of any infantry push from that direction or that direction. Again, make sure you lock your anti-infantry turret. You don't have to lock your anti-armor turret, like the other time. Put a router pad in the top of your uh, tower. That blocks enemy movements move from that direction. From the tower's point of view, you have access to any enemy push from that direction. You will not have access to hindering the enemy move, er, you will not have access to hurting the base from the tower, so if this does fall, it's not a big deal. You just have to work on your way pushing up into it. Though it does have a pain spire here, so capturing the tower is a bit more challenging. Though the pain spire is rather exposed, as you can see. So that is something to take note of. Uh, regular, or er, the vast majority of your infantry will spawn in this pillbox that has actually relatively decent view of Gurney's Dam and will stop regular infantry from getting in. Pain Spire right there makes being in this room actually a death trap for any wimpy uh, light assaults. Uh, we got our spawn tube and access to the rest of the base. Yeah, so yeah, that's about it. You can probably even, f you can actually fit a orbital strike uplink up in here. In fact, I generally like to do that because the enemy infantry will just surround it as it blows up and you get all the kills. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of base design and have a good day.